When you talk about chemical reactions, there's two distinct regimes. The regime of thermodynamics, which deals with the equilibrium position of the chemical reaction and the energy released to get to equilibrium. And there's the kinetic component, how fast I get to equilibrium. I can plot chemical reactions on a reaction profile, and when I do, this reaction coordinate tells me the progress of the chemical reaction. But this is not a time coordinate. This reaction coordinate is the progress of the reaction, which could go in a few seconds or a thousand years. Either way, the energy difference between the products and reactants would be the same. In a kinetics experiment, I plot the concentration change of a product or reactant versus time. Here, a product building up over time. So this part of the plot, as the concentrations are changing and I'm approaching equilibrium, is the domain of kinetics. When I reach equilibrium, that's the domain of thermodynamics, the equilibrium situation. Now, let's look at a few factors that might affect the rate of the chemical reaction. The initial concentrations would affect the rate and a catalyst. If I apply a catalyst, I affect the rate by lowering the activation barrier. So here's a lowering of the activation barrier, which allows the reaction to pre proceed more rapidly. Here's a reaction proceeding more rapidly. The concentration's building up more rapidly as a function of time and achieving equilibrium at an earlier time. So the relationship between thermodynamics and kinetics in a reaction can be cast in terms of a reaction profile or the change of concentration versus time.